So using our examples from earlier on what a subject and predicate are, we just want to take special note that the subject doesn't always come first in every sentence. So in our earlier examples, we saw, yes, Jen is studying French. So Jen, the subject, is in the beginning of the sentence. And does your car really consume a lot of gas? A question. Your car, the subject is in the beginning. But keep in mind, this was just an example to illustrate what a subject and predicate are. But it's not always the case going forward.